Hello, welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to begin a series of 24 beers from the Kalea Brewers Advent Calendar available at Costco in many countries around the world. If you've already seen this or you don't care to have this introduction, you can skip ahead uh, a couple of minutes, a minute and a half or so to the beer. Uh, Kalea is a company based in Salzburg, Austria, and they were founded in 2010. Apparently, Kalea means giving joy in Hawaiian. And Advent, of course, is the Christian uh, season to uh, prepare for Christmas. And it begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas, this year, uh, November 27th to December 24th. I will start on December 1st because I have 24 beers leading up to Christmas Eve. Uh, Adventus in Latin means arrival or visit, and it is actually the beginning of the uh, liturgical year for uh, many Christian groups. And uh, Advent calendars, of course, are popular commercial items. There are many types, chocolate, cosmetics, coffee, uh, even lip balm, uh, but I prefer uh, beer, and that's what I'm going to be reviewing here. Um, and let's take a look at what we have here. In terms of Bundeslander or German states, uh, there are 15 beers from Bavaria, three from Baden-Württemberg, two from Hamburg, two from Austria, one from Saxony, and one from North Rhine-Westphalia. Styles, there are eight Helles Dortmunders, and four Merzen or Oktoberfest, three Pilsners, two Weissbier or Hefeweizen, and one each of Amber Lager, Vienna, Bach, Pale Ale, Stout, and Traditional Ale, and one Weizenbach and one Zwickel or Keller beer. So I'm looking forward to getting into these. Again, there will be 24 beers. Uh, and once again, if you don't want to hear this introduction again, next time you can just skip over it. Okay. All right. Well, let's get into the first of the beers uh, from the Kalea Brewers Advent Calendar 2002. And now we are in day 20 of the Kalea Brewers Advent Calendar. And the beer for today is this. This is called Aerobrau Erlkonig Hell. And uh, Aerobrau is a brewery located uh, in a place called Gessel Herring in Bavaria. And it's about, uh, about, well, I don't, I don't know exactly, uh, I can't measure it, but it's about, uh, it's northeast of Munich, and, and if you look on a map, and I will put a map up here, uh, it is, and just a little bit south of Regensburg, so. Um, and this brewery was established, as you see, in 1871, and in fact, it's family owned by the Arrow family. Um, and this brewery was established, as you see, in 1871, and in fact, it's family owned by the Arrow family. And they are now in the sixth, sixth uh, generation of uh, brewing. We don't know if they ride horses or not, or who this fellow is on the horse, but in uh, any case. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, they have 24 beers listed on rate beer, so not a lot, but uh, in any case, the brewery is, uh, the beer uh, is a Helles style, Hell style, and that style is uh, a, a pale, a kind of pale lager style, and uh, it was, hell actually means bright or pale, light, uh, and it was developed uh, to compete with the uh, Czech Pilsner, which was uh, the very popular beer, which uh, kind of took over Europe uh, because it was so nice and bright and yellow and gold color when most beers were not. Um, and so uh, this should be malty and it should be a little drier than a Czech Pils and, and uh, uh, should finish drier, definitely. Uh, on rate beer, this one has 80 ratings and the average is 3.06, not terribly high, and uh, 33 percentile for its style, uh, which is, I'm sorry, for all beers on rate beer, and 75 percentile for its style, which is uh, 
uh, Hellas or Dortmund, or they say on Richter. Untapped 10,933 ratings when I checked, and the average was is quite a bit higher, 3.37 out of 5. Okay, So 5%, I don't know the IBUs, but maybe it doesn't matter, probably not very high. <coughs> So a lot of Hellas styles in this uh, Advent calendar. This is the, quite the popular style in Bavaria. Okay, it is just a very slight bit of haze here. Maybe this is chill haze, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, not much of a head, half a finger. Kind of frothy. Carbonation barely see anything rising, just a little bit there you can see rising up, okay, so, hmm. okay, this has a nice moderate malty nose, this one's a bit spicy, or it could be from something else, I don't know, something, in the case, malty. Flavor much the same. Um, malty, maybe a bit bready. Uh, light noble hops. It's, it, the hops don't make a big impression here at all. It's pleasant, kind of innocuous. Maybe a touch industrial feeling. Uh, It's a thin kind of, uh, it's not an off flavor, but uh, just a slight unpleasant uh, note in mid palate, and then it fades out very slowly. Uh, fairly dry finish overall. Fairly dry beer overall, actually. That's probably not a bad representative of the style. I think I can rate this maybe about 3.3, perhaps, maybe even 3.4. It's, it's not the. Uh, greatest of the hell is that we've had in this calendar, but it's okay. Once again, it's called Errol Brau, uh, Errol Konig, Hell, Konig I believe means king, and it's a Hellas Dortmunder, 5% alcohol, and uh, so this is day 20, we've got four more beers in the calendar, and uh, I have been happy so far with the majority of them, and uh, I'm looking forward to finishing up the calendar and then moving on to uh, some others. I got a a load of uh, uh, Japanese craft beers that I had sitting during the duration of this this uh, daily uh, run of German beers. Okay, well that is it, and uh, I hope you subscribe to the channel, and I hope you will leave me a comment. Tell me if you, uh, if you know what you think about the Helles style. And tell me if I'm wrong about anything. Uh, if I'm wrong about this beer, or you know whatever. All right, let's talk and take care. Stay healthy.